Uh, Mom, are you gonna make any breakfast today? Nah, I'm not hungry. <laughs> well, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, did anybody hear any noises last night? Well, your father had gas. <laughs> no, these were noises I never heard before. Well, then it could have been a girl moaning your name. Vince, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> Daddy's up. Use some tissues. Shoes. On the top shelf of the linen closet. <laughs> I think. You need anything while I'm up? <laughs> well, Daddy's gonna be in a mood. Just tell him I went shopping. Could you get us some milk? <laughs> <laughs> Steve and I can't wait until we have kids. Giving birth to a child must be one of the most beautiful experiences in God's universe. Huh. I wouldn't know. I was unconscious for a week. <laughs> I kind of miss that. <laughs> Mom! Kelly tied my face to the speaker! Excuse me. She's making. Maybe we should loan her some of our child rearing books. I don't know, Marcy. I don't think Ellen Peggy read much. Mom, was there a little earthquake here last night? Because the walls were shaking and I heard Dad screaming. Oh. Well, he scares easily. <laughs> well, I slept through it. Must have been a short one. <laughs> Several short ones. <laughs> well, you ready for Grandma's kids? Ugh. You got your room deodorizers? Yes, yes Mom. Mom. Toilet seat covers? Yes, yes Mom. Mom. Flea and tick spray? <laughs> yes, yes, Mom. Well, then you're ready. <laughs> oh, there's your taxi. Please, Mom, don't do this. <laughs> Bud, honey, be strong. I'll see you in a couple of days. We love you, Mom, but not today. <laughs> oh, and kids, remember, when you say hello, Grandpa is the one with the hair. <laughs> <sighs> Gee, you know, I have this funny feeling we forgot something. But do you have that shopping list? Let's see. Bread, milk, juice, eggs, cereal. That's what we forgot. We forgot to do the grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, well. Nice jacket, Mom. Yeah, it was expensive, but it's Daddy's money. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, are you going out walking by construction sites again? <laughs> Because if you are, give me five minutes, I'll put on something cute and come join you. Uh, oh, no, Mom. This is my Valentine's Day outfit. See, um, all the guys are down at the mall, you know, waiting for me to give me their cards and candy and other gifts of their devotion. So I'll be taking the laundry bag. You don't need it, do you? No, nah, it's mostly decorative. <laughs> now, Kelly, here's what I think you're doing wrong. Stop flirting with this boy at school. Get him alone with no distractions. Get him to tell you all his secret dreams and hopes and then use them to crush him. <laughs> the important thing is to go after what you want. I did. Pig! I stepped in the garbage can and I can't get out! 21 mil, and it's all gonna be mine. <laughs> you mean ours, don't you, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Mom, when is Dad gonna turn the electricity on? I wanna play some records. Oh, come on, Kel, you don't need records. You know all the words. Just chant, oh, Satan, yay, Satan. <laughs> Satan, I'm your squeeze. Eat 
dad socks. Sniffy shoes. <laughs> now, kids, we are all just a little on edge here. I think we're letting the cold and dark get to us. Mom, seriously, is this our life? <laughs> well, I think you're old enough to know the truth. Yes, it is. <laughs> Now that Tony's worm food, I can get out of these funeral clothes. <laughs> oh, Dad, you know how I've been um, bothering you about a sports car? Well, forget it. I want a hearse. <laughs> I was just cruising around the cemetery with Boris, the driver. Oh, God, was it cool. And on Friday night, he's taking me out and promised to have a real dead body in it. <laughs> but Mom said it's wrong to use a guy for his hearse, so can I have one of my own? Please? Well, Al, she has been doing better in school. <laughs> Mom, how are we gonna get money? Dad took his wallet in the shower with him. Yeah, and as we all know, when we rifled his pants last night, we found a note in his pocket. It said, it's in my underwear, I dare you. <laughs> Dad's playing hardball. What are we gonna do, Mom? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. That's not his real wallet. This is. <laughs> But won't Dad know? No. I bought a duplicate wallet, and I filled it with Xeroxed money. <laughs> the way I figure it, if your dad's got the gall to go out and buy himself something without telling the family, he deserves to go to jail. Oh, Mom, I need a favor. Oh, anything, honey, as long as I don't have to get up. <laughs> no, um, tomorrow's mother-daughter career day at school, and some of the moms are going to talk about what they do. So I volunteered you for refreshments, and I need 800 cookies by tomorrow. <laughs> 800 cookies by tomorrow? Why didn't you tell me before? Hey, they only told me about it two weeks ago. <laughs> 800 cookies. Let's see. 80 cents a cookie. Uh, Al, I need $1,000. $1,000? That's no problem. You got change for a million? You know what a miser he was. He was so cheap, he'd buy day-old bread. <laughs> and why did he do that, kids? It didn't matter because he toasted it anyway. <laughs> hey, you remember that little song we used to sing about Uncle Henry? <laughs> day old, day old bread. Uncle Henry buys a day old bread. Hey, Mr. Baker man, none of that fresh stuff. Uncle Henry buys a day old bread. You know, I have a bone to pick with you, Al. There wouldn't be any meat on it, would there? <laughs> no. I am really upset. I went shopping today, you know, spending here, spending there, to warm up to some serious shopping. Well, just when I was loose and ready, bam, you ran out of money. <laughs> Look at these bags. This is what you make, Al. All of it. <laughs> I must be the most patient woman on earth. Kids, I am sorry you had to hear this. Well, I wasn't listening, Mom. <laughs> oh, um, Dad, can we have some money to go out to dinner? Kids, today's Thursday. You know we don't eat till Friday. <laughs> Al, you are a total disgrace. Come here, kids. Here you go. You can always depend on Mom. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's turning into grandma before our very eyes. Kids, kids, mommy needs a little help. You see, I accidentally knocked over daddy's barbecue and lost his ashes. <gasps> well, I guess you're out of here then, huh, mom? Bud, you're the woman of the house now. No, I, I don't think it's gonna get to that. You see, daddy doesn't know yet, and we have one thing going in our favor. Every other family on the block is having a good time away from home, except us. That means it's open season on their houses. So, I want you to check barbecues, fireplaces, and ovens for ashes. Oh, whoever goes to the McGinty's, bring me a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay, I'll make one meal, but it's not gonna be good. That's all we ask. <laughs> oh, Mom, one more thing. Oh. 
you are spinning me right into PMS. <laughs> School nurse mom, she said it's time for us to go to the dentist to get our annual checkups. <sighs> okay, we'll make an appointment. <laughs> doing? Uh, giving the kids their dental checkups. <laughs> Excellent, bud, as usual. Beautiful, Kelly. Good girl. Okay, kids, go on upstairs and we'll forge your dental forms in the morning. <laughs> <sighs> well, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, thank God we didn't need tetanus shots. Oh, I hate that little pen. Ooh. <laughs> okay, family, home cooking. Night, Mom. Bee spit. <laughs> Sunflower paste. Hmm. I'm gonna spread mine on styrofoam. <laughs> That's a rice cake, bud. Now, isn't this delicious? I'm so glad we're eating healthy. We're cleansing ourselves. And I do, I, I feel 10 years younger. <laughs> 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 I want to live, but not like this. Hi, Mom. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Mom. Hi, bud. Hi, Pig. And before you say hi to the milkman, it's me. I know. I have a nose. <laughs> oh, by the way, honey, I saw you pushing your car home. Doesn't it work? Peg, if you saw me pushing the car home, why didn't you help me? Well, I saw the kids out there, and I figured if they weren't going to help, why should I? <laughs> Bud, Kelly! What is it, Mom? Creditors? I'll go boil the water. No, 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 not this time. Now sit down, kids. Now look. I know sometimes you feel you don't see enough of your dad, and you think he's maybe too busy to care for us. Well, get ready, because your father is about to do something for us that we'll never forget, and I want us all to enjoy it as a family. Now, just look over at that window. About now. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Tell Daddy was cool. Woman. <laughs> Al, did you get these kids into a frenzy again over this eating thing? You know, you just won't be happy till I'm as afraid to come home as you are, will you? <laughs> Al, I'm really getting worried. Kelly promised that she'd call it. It's been six hours. A and yet you were okay when she used to go to drive-ins in a van that read Virgin Sacrifice Tour 90. <laughs> Everybody in ripped jeans, no underwear, and a black hood is a bad influence, honey. Go away, Peg. Al, was I a good mother? You're not even a good smoke. <laughs> oh, bud, my son, where are you going? Honey, don't forget a jacket. Mom, it's 80 degrees outside. Come here. Let me feel your head. Gee, it's kind of lumpy. <laughs> I, uh, I never noticed that before. <laughs> Bud, was I a good mother? You must have been. I was the only eight-month-old baby who knew how to change his own diaper. <laughs> well, I wish you would have said something. <laughs> Anyhow, from now on, I am really going to be a great mom. You'll see. We'll be just like pals. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Mama's gonna give you a pizza pie. 